You can't keep a good hedgehog down. How are you not dead? I have no idea. Oh! On this IM Debrief, we super speed through the Sonic saga up to its almost certain sequel that'll feature an old friend from the games. If you prefer your Sonic song spoilers, then you gotta go fast in the other direction. Clearly, I'm not gonna be able to do this on my own. We got your back, Blue. To compete with Nintendo's mega successful Super Mario Bros. video games, Sega needed its own mascot. In 1990, artist Naoto Oshima created a speed demon spiny mammal named Sonic, combining the cobalt blue of Sega's logo Sega! with Santa Claus-inspired red shoes. On June 23, 1991, the first Sonic video game hit shelves for 16-bit Sega Genesis. And by November, a sequel was already in development with a brand new pal for Sonic, a flying twin-tailed fox known officially as Miles Prower. <laughs> and to friends, he's Tails. You're my mom, you're my dad, and you're my picket fence. Whoa. Whoa is right. Voiced by Jaleel Urkel White, an animated Adventures of Sonic aired in 1993 as Hedgehog Mania hit a fever pitch. A live action film went into development that same year, but Sega feared the fate of box office bombs, Super Mario Bros, and Street Fighter, and the Sonic movie soon lost all of its gold rings. Ha <laughs> Nailed it! After Sony fumbled on a 2013 revival, Paramount picked up the picture in 2017 with first-time director Jeff Fowler helming and Parks and Rec fan favorite Ben Schwartz voicing a CGI rendering of Sonic. Now, what could go wrong? Ah! Ah! Oh, come on. An April 2019 trailer was met with online outrage, even creator Naoto Oshima voicing his disdain. And within days, Fowler announced that Paramount would delay the picture three months to allow time to pretty up their hedgehog. Your flying eggs are pretty impressive, Mr. Eggman. That's Dr. Eggman. Well, in the Japanese version anyway. And it's Jim Carrey in a rare return to his 90s madcap form as the big bad Dr. Robotnik. Despite taking a one-way trip to a world of nothing but mushrooms, which is clearly inspired by the first level in Sonic & Knuckles, Mushroom Hill Zone, Robotnik will likely return for a sequel now that Sonic defied the odds and smashed video game adaptation opening weekend records with a $58 million debut. I was not expecting that. But I was expecting not to expect something, so it doesn't count. The movie's mid credit scene teases that Tails could join Sonic for the sequel but nothing has been announced quite yet. The film's opening sequence also introduces an armored tribe of angry echidnas, which appear to be of the same variety as Knuckles. So you can bet gold rings to donuts that Paramount will be expanding the Sonicverse of familiar friends. I know just the present I want you to give me. But maybe Mama Robotnik is best left in the 90s. For more Fast and Furious trending tales, stay glued to imdb.com slash imdbrief. Uh, meow?